hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of p if we have 3 to the power of p is equals to p to the power of 9 and we solve this problem for the values of p so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root Further, I hope uh, that uh, you like this method, but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards the solution of this problem. So here, the very first thing we are going to do is here, first we need to move all the variable terms from left hand side to the right hand side and we move the constant terms from right hand side to the left hand side. You see here, the variable term into the left hand side is P. We move this P to the right hand side and uh, in the right hand side we have the constant term is 9 we need to move this 9 to the left hand side so here first we move our variable term p to the right hand side for this uh, we need to take the pth root on both of the sides or in other words we will take 1 over p power on both of the sides so uh, when we take 1 over p power on both of the sides it will be written as in this form this is p to the power of 9 and its whole power is 1 over p and further in the next step, uh, here we use this nice exponential law, you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n. So here in this law, uh, we also interchange these two values and when we interchange these two values, it will be written as a to the power of n to the power of m. Further, we write the third form of this exponent law is we multiply these two exponents and it will become a to the power of m multiplied by n. So here in the left hand side we use this form it means that we multiply these two exponents and in the right hand side we use this form it means that we need to interchange these two exponents so when we interchange uh, above exponents or in when we apply this into the left hand side it will becomes 3 to the power of p multiplied by 1 over p is equals to here we interchange these two exponents and it will become p to the power of 1 over p and its whole exponent is 9. And now you see here we have this p is cancelled out by this p and we get in the left hand side is 3 is equals to p to the power of 1 over p and its whole power is 9. So here you see that we move our variable term to the right hand side and now here our next target is to move the constant term to the left hand side so in order to move uh, the constant term 9 into the left hand side for this we again take a uh, ninth root on both of the sides or we take a 1 over 9 power on both of the sides so it will be written as p to the power of 1 over p and its exponent is 9 and its whole exponent is 1 over 9 so further in the next step so here uh, we need uh, to apply again the above exponential law into the right hand side uh, so we write our left hand side as 3 to the power of 1 over 9 is equals to here we multiply these two exponents and it will becomes p to the power of 1 over p and its whole exponent is 9 multiplied by 1 over 9. So further you see here this 9 is cancelled out by this 9 and we will get here 3 to the power of 1 over 9 is equals to p to the power of 1 over p. So now you see here uh, we move all the variable terms to the right hand side and all the constant terms to the left hand side so further you see here in the right hand side we have the exponent be the reciprocal of its base so we need to make this type of same condition into the left hand side but in the left hand side we cannot have our exponent be the reciprocal of its base so in order to make this we need to do little bit simplifications here so uh, here uh, we multiply and divide the exponent of uh, the left hand side by 3 so it will be written as 3 to the power of 3 over 3 is multiplied by 1 over 9 is equals to p to the power of 1 over p and now here uh, we move this 3 inside the term and we multiply this 1 over 3 on 1 over 9 so it will become 3 cubed and its whole power is 1 over 3 multiplied by 9 is equals to p to the power of 1 over p 
and here in the left hand side you see that 3 cube becomes 27 to the power of this is 1 over 3 times of 9 is also becomes 27 is equals to p to the power of 1 over p so here you see that in bo both of the sides we have uh, the uh, we have the uh, the exponent be the reciprocal of its basis so now here we need to compare both of the sides so when we compare the basis uh, here we directly get the value of p is equals to 27 and when we compare the exponents then we get here 1 over 27 is equals to 1 over p so from here in order to get the value of p uh, we need to again reciprocal both of the sides and you get the value of p is 27 so you see here from both of these two cases we get the same value of p so this means that here we have only one root of the given equation and that is p is equals to 27 and in the next step we need to verify that is this value of p is solution of given equation or is this value of p be the extraneous root for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is 3 to the power of p is equals to p to the power of 9 and here we substitute p is equals to 27 and we check the behavior of given question so when you put this value into the left hand side uh, into the both of the sides so it will be written as uh, so when you put this here it will become 3 to the power of 27 is equals to here we have p to the power of 9 the value of p is 27 to the power of 9 and further in the next step we have uh, we need to do some working into the right hand side and here we write this 27 as 3 cubed and its whole power is 9 so here we again use the exponential law uh, on the right hand side so here we need to multiply these two exponents and we will get here 3 to the power of this is 3 times of uh, mm, 3 times of 9 becomes 27 and in the left hand side we again have 3 to the power of 27 so you see here from both of the sides uh, our both of the sides are equal so this means that the value of p is equals to 27 is satisfied over this given question statement so here uh, we finally conclude about the solution set of this question is that p is equals to 27 be the solution set of the given question so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos